okay so so the thing is that okay now we want to check something suppose this variable y lag 2 is it significant to explain our dependent variable because this one is independent variable is it significant to explain this dependent variable that we want to check this variable is associated with this c2 coefficient right so we check about c2 what happens here this is the c2 and corresponding p value what is the p value 90.32 percent so when the p value is more than five percent then this particular variable is not significant so we can say that this y lag to variable this independent variable y lag to is not a significant variable to explain our dependent variable which is y so that is example number one suppose we take another example uh, suppose we take this one uh, suppose we take this one okay what about this variable x2 lag 2 is it is it significant to explain our dependent variable okay so we check this coefficient this coefficient can tell you we go to c6 right c6 where is c6 yes i got it and the p value what is the p value here the p value is 0 0.8 percent meaning that less than 5 percent so when the variable has p value less than 5 percent so that variable becomes significant so we can say that this x2 lag 2 variable this x2 lag 2 independent variable is a significant variable to explain our dependent variable which is y in this way we can check some more such as we can check suppose i go to equation okay i go to the last last model i go to our last model suppose uh, i want to check whether uh, this one x1 lag 1 is this variable is this variable is significant to explain dependent variable which is x2 okay so the, the this variable means c17 i check c17 it is here where is c17 i got it c17 here and this is the corresponding p value how much is the p value 88.29 percent meaning that more than five percent so this variable is not significant so mean that which one yes this x1 lag 1 variable is not significant to explain x2 which is dependent variable so uh, in the same way we can check all the independent variables whether they are significant 
to explain a dependent variable or not. Okay, I take another example. Suppose th this one x2 lag 2 is it significant? Is it significant to explain x1? So I check the C13, right? C13, C13, and the p value. No, it is not because the p value is more than 5%. So it is not. Okay. So that I have we have done. Okay, now we check one more things. What is that? Whether this x1 lag 1 and x1 lag 2, these two variables jointly, right, not individually, these two variables x1 lag 1 and x1 lag 2 jointly can influence the dependent variable or not. That means x1 lag 1 and x1 lag 2 jointly can influence y or not. That we have to check. How to check it? So, to check it, we shall be using world coefficient test or we shall be using world test. And you know, if C3 and C4, right, if these two coefficients are zero, then x1 lag 1 and x1 lag 2 cannot influence y. But if C3 and C4, if they are not zero, in that case, this variable and this variable jointly can influence y so that we will check now so i go to view then i choose the coefficient diagnostic right Co because uh, we shall be checking here coefficient so i check coefficient diagnostic then i choose the world coefficient test click on it Okay, so I put, as I said, about these two variable, so C3 and C4, I write here, C3 equal to C4 equal to 0. It is my null hypothesis. So, if they are 0, then then these and this variable jointly cannot influence y okay so we, we we check now whether we can reject the null or accept the null i click on the okay so the result has come up so what is my null c3 c4 0 right and it is under wall statistics and it is chi-square test and corresponding probability how much is the probability or p-value 0.57 percent meaning that it is less than 5 percent meaning that we can reject the null hypothesis and what is our null hypothesis? C3, C4 is 0. So we can reject it. That C3 and C4 is not 0. So when C3 and C4 is not 0, meaning that it has some value and it has some value meaning that the whole thing is not zero right because it is a this one multiplied by this one and this one multiplied by this one so meaning that whole thing is not zero it means that 
x1 lag 1 and x1 lag 2 jointly can influence y. So that we have done it by using world statistics. Okay, in the similar way, we can do some more examples such as I come to the last equation, equation number x2, right? Okay, I have to check here whether, suppose uh, y lag 1 and y lag 2, is these two variable jointly can influence x2. So here, what are the coefficient c15 and c16? So that uh, these two we can check as before. So as before, I click on the view and click on the coefficient diagnostic and click on the world statistics. So here, c15 equal to c16 equal to 0 right it is the null hypothesis okay so I check okay okay as I told we have got the wall statistics and what is our null uh, c5 c15 and c16 is 0 that is the null and this is the test statistics and p value what is the p value 45.47 percent which is more than 5 percent meaning that we cannot reject null meaning that we accept null what is now c15 and c16 is zero if they become zero then what happens if c15 and c16 is zero then what happens the whole thing becomes zero as a result lag uh, one lag of y and two lag of two sorry one lag of y and two lag of y these two variables jointly cannot influence x2 so in this way we can check for all others uh, joint test we can do it here uh, i have given only two example right so back in home you can check for all